everyone, welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Mike. And I'm Jamie. And today we are going to be talking about a new experience as、Ooh. the first part of our grammar station unit. And the experience that the characters in our dialogue are having is one I'm a little nervous about, or I would be rock climbing. Rock climbing sounds fun. You haven't ever tried it before? No. I, well, I don't mind the climbing part. I just don't want to do the falling part <coughs>、oh. because often when you climb something, you then fall off of it. Yes. I don't want to do that. But if you have the gear, right? You have like a helmet and you have belays, like to、uh -huh. help stop you from falling. The、But、ropes protect you. Then they fall and then they fall.、Oh. <laughs> I don't know about that one. But it is a new experience that、it、I、is. maybe should. Look into, and I guess because of COVID nineteen, everyone's been stuck at home、right. for the past year and a half. So having new experiences is something you might be thinking about doing, right? Be、As、fun. Things get easier, and you can go and do more things. You might want to have new experience. So I might skip the rock climbing. One new experience I've been thinking of having for so long. And I haven't done it yet. Scuba diving. Scuba diving. Yeah. Okay. That's, that sounds a little bit more interesting to me. So, Again, it takes special equipment and training. So, yeah. Not、know. going up, but going、exactly. down. You can't fall in the water. You can't fall. That's true.、Right? You could, you know, other stuff if you, you can't swim.、Drown. Yeah. But that's, <laughs> that's probably easier to. I don't know.、Uh, You're right.、Well. It is a little dangerous, <laughs> but often. New experiences are right. They、yeah. can be exciting. They can be a little dangerous. They can make make you feel nervous. But then after you get through them and have the experience, wow, you will feel wonderful about yourself and probably confident in a new way. So、yes. let's check out Melissa and Nick. See who's going to have a new experience as they check out their local rock climbing wall. Melissa and Nick are at a rock climbing wall. I'm so excited, but also a little frightened. It's my first time at a rock climbing wall. I was the same way. However, it was so exciting to climb the wall. I forgot the fear. All right. So as we mentioned, this is part A, or the first part of our grammar station unit, a new experience. So trying something new for the first time, seeing if you like it, it's going to be really exciting, especially、mm -hmm. because the setup sentence tells us what new experience they will be trying. Melissa and Nick are at a rock climbing wall. Wow. Okay, so it's a place where they're gonna go rock climbing. I guess because they call it a wall. This isn't sort of out in nature. No, it's on indoors. On the side of a mountain, it's indoors.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can find these in a lot of big gyms、yep. and sports centers. So this is something you could probably try out in the middle of the city. You don't have、That's、to、right. go out to the mountains or something like that. You can find a local rock climbing wall, maybe at a at a gym or something. Near you, so、mm -hmm. if you want to try it out, you probably can. Let's see what Nick says as he begins the dialogue. He says, "I'm so excited, but also a little frightened." Ah, okay. So I think it's his first <laughs> time trying rock climbing. This is going to be a new experience. He's excited, which of course you would expect, right? Something right. new, something he's never done, something he's really looking forward to. But he's also a little frightened, a little scared, even, and he explains why. It's my first time at a rock climbing wall. Well, sure, any time you try something new for the first time, it can be a little frightening, especially. If it could be a little dangerous, yeah, it can be right, and you could you don't want to get hurt,、no. you don't want to look you know embarrass yourself, you know, no. look silly. Exactly, yeah. yeah, you don't want to fall off the wall and be hanging upside down, screaming <laughs> help、yeah. as everyone looks at you. So he is feeling a little frightened, and this adjective frightened is very similar to one I used earlier, scared, s c a r e d, when you have. Fear when you think something bad could happen, something really bad. When you think you could be hurt in some kind of way. If you see a ghost, if you see a vampire, if you're watching a horror movie or reading a scary book, or someone calls in the middle of the night and you think it's going to be bad news, you might feel scared or frightened or very, very, very nervous. In a pretty bad kind of way.、Mm -hmm. So yeah, don't be too frightened, Nick.、Yeah. I'm sure Melissa will be taking good care of you, right? That's right. And、yeah. let's see. Melissa says, 
I was the same way. Oh, okay. However, it was so exciting to climb the wall. I forgot the fear. Oh, okay,、right. great. So because she was just so excited,、mm -hmm. you forget that fear, and that's how、mm -hmm. we try new things, right? We're scared, but it's also exciting. So we want to try something new. And she said she wanted to climb the wall.、Mm -hmm. And climbing in this case is when you're going up using your hands and feet to try and bring you up. So climbing a wall. Climbing a rock,、mm -hmm. climbing a building. If you're Spider Man, right? right? Climbing a ladder. If you're painting in a room or something. Yeah, very good. And、uh, we also have、uh, climbing. You can also climb down, right? Because if you、mm. climb up. You have to climb down, right? So that's the thing that some people aren't so scared of climbing up, but when they look down and realize, <laughs> oh, oh, I have to get down. That's true. That's also very scary, right? That's a good point because, of course, when you're climbing, you're using your hands and your feet. You're not just usually walking up a hill. Right. We might call that hiking、mm -hmm. or something. Mountain climbing, yeah, involves ropes and pulling、right. yourself with your arms. And it's true when you go down, you can't see your feet so well. Yeah. So it's a <laughs> <laughs> It's a little scary, and that's when you might feel this emotion of fear. And this is a noun when we talk about emotions: love, hate, anger, fear. This is kind of what we're talking about. Fear is when you're afraid, when you're frightened. Using that adjective, or scared, using a similar adjective. Fear is the feeling of great danger, of something terrible is going to happen. You could get hurt, or you could get really, really bad news. You're not just nervous here; you're past nervous. You're、right. almost out of control of yourself. You might start crying, or or screaming, or little kids will run and hug their moms or dads when they're feeling fear, or just hide. Hide somewhere、mm -hmm. because you're really afraid that you're in of danger of some kind. And I have a great fear right now, Jamie. A fear we're going to miss our break. Uh oh! Oh God! Let's hurry and get、Let's、to the break. Let's go to the break. Let's Something go. terrible is going to happen. Break.、Oh, we'll see break. you soon after the break. How did you become interested in rock climbing? I was bored with going to the gym and wanted to try something new. What about you? You shared some of your climbing photos, and it looked really interesting. You saw those? I'm surprised. Are you kidding? Your photos are great, and they inspire me. Really? Thanks. Okay, welcome back, everyone. We are still at the local rock climbing wall with Nick and Melissa. It's Nick's first time there,、right. so he's a little nervous about rock climbing for the first time. But he's ready for a new experience, and he's lucky because he has Melissa with him, and、That's、she's、right. done this many times before. She's sort of the expert or the teacher, the coach、yes. that Nick will be relying on. So before they begin, he actually has a really good question for Melissa. Nick asks her, "How did?" You become interested in rock climbing. All right, so this is a hobby, a pastime that she enjoys. She wasn't born climbing rocks as a baby. It's something that people will, you know, start to do later on in life. So he asks, "How did you become interested?" He could also have just said, "When did you start?" or "How did you?" or "Why did you start?" He、right. wants to know. What sort of made her go to the gym for the first time, like he is,、mm -hmm. to try rock climbing when she first started it? That's right. And、uh, Melissa、mm -hmm. says, "I was bored with going to the gym、so、and wanted to try something new.、Hmm. What about you?" Okay. Okay. So basically, she just had nothing else to do、yeah. and said, "Okay, life's a little boring、mm -hmm. right now. Let's try a new experience."、Mm. And the gym. Is a place that you go to to work out, or you can like lift weights,、mm -hmm. run. It's just a big building. Usually, they have indoor gyms and outdoor gyms, but usually most are indoors. And they sometimes have swimming pools if they're really big.、Mm -hmm. Tennis courts. You can、sure. play all sorts of things, any sport you like, really. 
and yeah, it's a good place to get fit and you usually pay a fee. Sometimes it's a one year membership. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just you pay every time you go. Right. So yeah, it's just a good place to get healthy and work out. Exactly. Yeah. When people do exercises and they're not out running in a field or playing a sport like baseball, they might be inside at the gym, running on the machines, playing badminton, doing all. We should mention gym is actually short for a much longer word, gymnasium. G y m n a s i u m. Yes. That's how you say it. You can say I'm going to the gymnasium, but of course most people shorten it to gym. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that the word gymnasium means high school in German? No, I did not know that. It does,、huh. and I always wonder why. Yeah, so why do they call that a high school, and we just call that a place to exercise? Because it's funny、mm -hmm. in the U.S. you say high school gymnasium, right? So in German it would be high, high school, school, high school. school. Yeah, it doesn't、German、make sense.、School. But of course, since we're speaking about English, gym here means that place you go exercise. So she was bored of、right. going to the gym. I guess the running、oh. machines and the yoga classes and the you know Zumba or whatever. She was doing. That's great, and you can be in very good health and、right. good shape and stuff. But yeah, people get a little bored. They、yeah. get a little tired of that. So that's why she tried rock climbing for the first time for a new experience,、that's、just、right. like Nick. Now Nick then goes on to say, "You shared some of your climbing photos, and it looked really interesting." Ah, okay. So she and her friends were doing it. I guess someone had their phone. They took some pictures of each、yeah. other climbing and getting ready to climb and smiling after all. The fun they had, you know, things like that. Nick saw those on Instagram or、yeah. wherever, and he thought, "Hey, that looks cool. I know Melissa. I I can do that. Maybe I'll go with her. I want to try that.、Mm -hmm. It looks like fun." I think、uh, that's honestly how a lot of us get inspired、Absolutely. by new things.、You've、to be honest, you discovered new things because of your your friends' new things. Yeah,、too. you see. Okay, well, Grunt、yeah. looks awesome,、mm. and Melissa says, "You saw those." I'm surprised.、Oh, okay,、Sorry. so she didn't expect anyone to be looking at the photos, and certainly to be looking at the photos and you know wanting to try what she's doing. When we talk about a photo here, it's short for photograph, P H O T O G R A P H. But either way, a photo, photograph, same thing. You take it with a camera.、Right. So this is a, something we could also call a picture. I'm going to take a photo.、Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a picture. Same thing. I'm using a camera. This is not something. You would do with pencils or paints or anything like that. A photo, this type of picture, is always done with a camera. That's right. Whether it's an old camera like、right. this or、mm -hmm. like a new one that most of us do on, on our phones,、phone. yeah. right? Very convenient. So we have another word too: surprised.、Oh、yeah, she was surprised that、Very、he saw、surprised. the photos. Yes,、yeah. and surprised is basically like <gasps> whoa, like just a sudden. Sudden reaction—you you didn't expect something、mm. to happen, and、right. it just shocks you or startles you. So surprised, you might describe it. It's an adjective, and you might describe it as being having like a sudden little jump, like whoa, like what happened? Or a birthday surprise, right?、Mm -hmm. If it's your birthday, maybe people will plan a surprise party,、mm -hmm. and you will be surprised because that's the whole purpose. Whoa! Everyone planned a party for me. Great! Thank you so much. Exactly. Being surprised. Yeah, it's something that you don't expect. Often, when we say surprised, it might be kind of a good surprise. Yeah. Because if it was a bad surprise, you could actually maybe use that earlier word, frightened. Frightened. Right. I was、yeah. frightened when I heard someone、uh, walking around in my apartment at night.、Ooh. You could say that. But if it was something better, like I was surprised when my friends took me out for dinner. You know,、yeah. this is kind of a good surprise.、Mm -hmm. um, but surprises can be either good <laughs> or bad. Yeah.、Um, of course, Melissa is surprised in a good way. In a great way. <laughs> Nick saw her photos and was inspired. So Nick says, "Are you kidding? You know, Melissa was surprised that he saw the photos and." Thought that rock climbing was interesting because of the photos, and、mm -hmm. Nick is surprised that she was surprised. <laughs> he says, "Are you kidding? Are you joking? No, I'm. I really mean it." He says, "Your photos are great, and they inspire me." You know, he kind of thinks, "I'm sure a lot of people saw your great photos, Melissa, and a lot of people like me thought, 'Hey, that looks like fun. I want to try rock climbing.'" So. He doesn't think she should be surprised. He thinks those photos were fantastic. Yeah, Melissa clearly very surprised again. She says, "Really? 
thanks. Yeah, yeah, that's Just nice. very surprised and also grateful you know, that, okay, someone liked my photos. That's For a sure. nice feeling, right? Yeah, like absolutely. someone appreciates it. All right, well, that's it, guys. I don't mm -hmm. know if I've been quite inspired to try rock climbing yet. Mm -hmm. Maybe look at more photos? Uh, yeah, maybe look at some photos. <laughs> maybe find a gym nearby and go and watch some people do it and talk to a coach. Yeah, I but think that would help. it's still the falling on my head part that I don't want to do. But maybe that doesn't good. happen very often, does it? No, and a good teacher will help you, I think. Good what? teachers are super important. They'll, they'll catch me? They'll catch you. <laughs> really? Well, maybe. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll, well, that's the first part of our grammar station, and we will have more tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So please come back and join us for that. Until then, take care, be good, take care of yourselves and each other, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Melissa and Nick are at a rock climbing wall. I'm so excited, but also a little frightened. It's my first time at a rock climbing wall. I was the same way. However, it was so exciting to climb the wall, I forgot the fear. How did you become interested in rock climbing? I was bored with going to the gym and wanted to try something new. What about you? You shared some of your climbing photos and it looked really interesting. You saw those? I'm surprised. Are you kidding? Your photos are great, and they inspire me. Really? Thanks. Hi, 大家好，我是 Stephanie。那我们今天一起来看单字。第一个呢是 climb， 动词，攀爬。The kids climbed onto the roof to see the stars. 孩子们爬上屋顶看星星。那课文里面的 rock climbing 爬石头指的就是攀岩。第二个呢是 fear 名词，恐惧，害怕。那去年九月呢，有一个很热门的电影叫做《沙丘》，里面有一段台词的开头就是这么说的 ：I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. 我绝不能害怕，恐惧是扼杀心灵的杀手。那和同学们补充一下哦，有一句话是美国人比较常说的是 ，Fear is a liar。像是你身边朋友如果很怕做某件事情的话，你就可以用这句话去鼓励他。那第三个单字呢是 gym， 它是名词，健身房。I go to the gym twice a week。我一周去两次健身房。最后一个单字呢就是 photo， 名词，照片。The couple took many photos of their baby。这对夫妇为他们的孩子拍了很多照片。这边再补充几个和照片有关的单字，像是照片，就是约出去之后吓到的那一种，就是 flattering photo。滤镜呢是 filter， 修图就是 retouch。好，那我们今天的第一个文法重点呢是 somebody is the same way， 某人也是如此。Vanessa always has her nose in a book， and her friend Ruth is the same way。Vanessa 总是埋头读书，她的朋友 Ruth 也是如此。第二个重点呢，就是 Are you kidding？ 你开玩笑的吗？认真。Kid 它是动词，开玩笑。比如说 I'm just kidding， 意思就是我开玩笑的啦。那除此之外呢 ，Kid 也可以和 joke 交替使用。Joke 是动词，也是开玩笑的意思。所以 Are you joking 的说法也是 OK 的哦。那我们今天的讲解就到这里 ，See you。Hi everyone, I'm Steven and I'm Matt. We're gonna play a game called Word Drop, where each of us has three words or phrases on these cards that we haven't looked at yet. We're gonna try to work it into a conversation as interestingly as possible. All right, so I'll go first. Right. Good. Boom. All right, so、uh, I really like to go out and exercise, and then get some sun, some vitamin D. And one of the things that I really like to do is I like to go into nature, and I like to walk around like trees and the river and rocks. And when I see rocks, I just have this urge to just climb and just climb. I don't I don't know to where. But just to climb and climb and climb. Wow! Yeah,、um, yeah. I mean, <laughs> climbed. 
I, I actually tried uh, climbing at a climbing center once, one mm. of those indoor climbing centers with climbing walls. Mm. And it was, you know, while climbing for the first time there that I discovered that I had a fear of heights. Ooh, that's not good. Wow, so I guess that's pretty rough if you like to climb. So I guess if you climb, you're gonna have to climb like to really low heights because that's pretty scary if you're up there and you're like, oh my God, I'm so scared. But if you're not scared, one of the best things to do while you're climbing is to get to the very top and then you take out your phone and you take a photo and then you can brag about it. That photo is very important. Yeah, that would be good. Yes. And that maybe that would help me get over my fear of heights. And um, you know what, but I think it's, I think, you know, my fears and stuff, like, the, like being afraid of heights, I think it kind of runs in my family maybe, you know. Um, because uh, my mother is also afraid of heights and, and I recently found out that my father is the same way. Oh no, so I guess it's genetic? I don't think it's genetic. I think it just so happened to be that Coincidentally, you guys are all afraid of heights. But you know what? I think you're kind of lying to me because I actually saw a photo of you climbing a really like high wall. So like, seriously, are you kidding? <laughs> because yeah. I think you're kidding. Well, um, yeah, <laughs> I was, I was, no, I wasn't kidding. But you know, I got over. I got over it. I'm better now. I uh, I climbed and I climbed, and uh, you know, I got good. I got over my 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 fears, and uh, I had to get stronger to get to climb so well. So um, I had to start working out a lot, and one of the ways I did that was by going to the gym. Good for you, Matt. I'm so proud of you. I know. <laughs> I know. So. See you next time.